Hello friends, welcome back. We are getting into a new area. What is it? Open source software. I am going to give you clear, concise content on what is open source software and many things related to it. Precisely speaking, I have a clear agenda. I will give you the basic definition of OSS, which is open source software, the fundamentals, the terminologies, misconceptions and importantly, what is the difference between open source software and CSS, which is nothing but the closed source software. The session will be very quick and concise and I am sure you will like it. Let's first define what is open source software. OSS is very, very simple to understand. It literally means that the code is publicly published. It is available open, right? So the next important aspect is OSS is all about collaboration. It is collaborative in nature. It invites people to come and contribute. It is totally dependent on the community contribution from contribution to improvement, to review, to change, to anything that you want to do. It is done by the community, right? The community is playing a major role and community is fully in the picture. The collaborative approach certainly enables the developer to share the knowledge and the insights that he has with everyone out so that it can get good results for everybody. It is sharing. The knowledge sharing, the insights sharing is happening in a bigger way. That's what OSS is all about. The code is publicly published. That's the point. This is working together to grow as an individual. That's how I can frame it. Well, key elements of the OSS. There are four important elements. Key elements people can call it as. First is use, second is view, third is modify, fourth is share. What is use? Well, it's very, very clear. Anybody can use the software for any purpose. View. It is open. Anyone can see the code and understand the underlying technique as in how does it work. Modify. Well, this is what is giving you the best of the feature of OSS. Anybody can even go ahead and modify it. Anybody can improve it, fix the bugs, provide any upgrades. All these are possible. Share. You come together, share it and share the knowledge for a common goal and the purpose. So these four terms are important. Well, what is not OSS? We have some jargons around it. I'm going to clear it off. Open source is all free of cost. Am I right? No, it is not. It has got some associated cost with it. Though there is no licensing cost, there is nothing associated with licensing. But we may have to spend money on learning it, training maintenance, support, all those things carry, carry some investment over there, carry some money has to be, it has to be invested over there. Also, you have got the complete access to the code. Do we call it as open source? No, the creators hold the key. They have to grant access permissions to you to modify or to view the code. So just seeing the code or accessing the code is not open source, but getting the permission from the creators for you to access it, for you to modify it, for you to change it is called open source. There is no license for open source, many people think. No, there is license and we have to agree to the terms and conditions. And importantly, people are also having misconception that if you download a software free, it is open source. No, it is not open source. Open source is something different. You download the software for free, we can call it a free software. That's all. Well, you need to know some other terminologies connected to this open source community, open source software. Community is the first step. What is it? It is group of people which are related to who are related to the project. They contribute, they get benefited. A contributor is the one who gives or contributes to the project. A committer is the one who reviews the project, who approves the changes. Contribution should obey and adhere to the contribution guidelines. Upstream is the source software. That's the source. That is the main content. But downstream is the local version of the main content, which the developers or the programmers can change, the community builders can change, and then it can become part of upstream. It can be added to upstream. Contributor contributes, committer reviews and verifies. Upstream, the source. Downstream, local version. And how is CSS different from OSS? Or how is open source software different or better than CSS? I cannot call it better or not better, but there are some differences we need to understand. CSS is private, owned by some particular person, proprietary, or it is owned by a group. It is not open to the public. The code will be in the encrypted format. Only the people who have got authorized legal access can go ahead, read it, change it, update it. CSS also will clearly say what the end user could do with the application. So these two are the major aspects of differences that one can understand between CSS and OSS. So remember it. Well, we shall learn more about OSS which is very, very interesting. I have been reading through it and I'm preparing this material for you. If you like the content and the channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for following my channel and content.